Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today we're going to be cloning my failing hard drive onto a brand new hard drive using this Macrium Reflex software. And so this is kind of a follow-up video or another video to a previous one that I had that's had a different purpose and is a little bit more in-depth. Um, and I'll explain what you get out of that other video versus this one here and so uh, basically what I'm gonna be doing is that uh, I'm gonna be cloning straight up copying my failing hard drive to the new hard drive and then booting up the new hard drive and then going from there basically it's a straight up uh, clone uh, it's very simple and straightforward we're on the Macrium uh, website here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and download the free version there was a comparison chart there for you know what you get out of the pro versions definitely look that over uh, if this is something that you wanna continue using as well as uh, many different features and so uh, we're on the uh, download.com here this is where they're kinda given a the way given away the program and so once it downloads it downloads a small little file it's not the actual file yet um, instead we are going to go ahead and choose what we want here we're gonna do the free trial version right and then it's going to uh, just go ahead and download and start the installation process after it's finished downloading uh, it's not that large of a file so uh, we'll just go ahead and breeze through this real quick alright so it starts up the installation process now we can go ahead and click on next And we'll click on next again click on accept the agreement click on next and uh, you could register the software now if you want but uh, I'm gonna skip that for now and then we'll click on next and then install alright so after the installation process is finished you can go ahead and start the program up and actually begin um, doing the cloning process but uh, I'm gonna actually show you how to initialize your hard drive um, if you've plugged it in your computer your Windows operating system should recognize the uh, the hard drive and should be able to install it but I'm gonna go ahead and run computer management and then we're gonna click on disk management And since uh, this is the first time your hard drive has been recognized by Windows, it's going to ask you if you want to initialize the disk. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK, and I'm going to choose a master boot record. You could, however, if you wanted to choose a, a GUID partition table. That's a little bit complicated, um, and that's only in the case of uh, when your uh, installation, your original hard drive here, has a GUID partition table most likely it'll probably won't have that but again this particular step you may not even need to have to do this right but I'm just gonna show you just in case you were to run into some problems where the Macrium reflect program didn't recognize your hard drive for some reason or didn't see your hard drive this is one of the ways to uh, troubleshoot it so we're gonna go ahead and uh, that's pretty much it you don't have to create a volume or anything like that um, you can leave it unallocated here uh, Windows itself doesn't really see a hard drive but the Macrium Reflect program should but I just wanted to show you how to initialize the actual um, hard drive there and so once you start up this program um, it's gonna might ask you to create a rescue media we're not gonna do that right now and so now that we have this option here clone this disk we're gonna go ahead and uh, it tells you right here here's your source this is your main hard drive here uh, with Windows operating system on it and we're gonna choose selected disk to clone the only other option I have is the new hard drive that's in there and uh, if you're unsure about uh, you know what all of these uh, serial numbers or model numbers mean um, and you have other hard drives in your computer unplug those before you do any of this right you don't want to accidentally overwrite your hard drive with very important data on it uh, and clone over it, right? So that would be a bad thing. Uh, right now, I only have two hard drives to be playing around with, so that's all that I, the only options that I got here. And uh, once you select it, pretty much click on Next and Finish, and now uh, it's going to copy over 
everything and depending on how much data you have and if your main hard drive here is you know slow uh, it's going to determine that's going to determine how long it's going to take for this to copy over all right ladies and gentlemen that's pretty much it the copy has completed without any problems uh, your computer might pop up here saying it's recognized some hard drives that's your new hard drive here the clone completed in uh, what is that 14 minutes 20 seconds which is uh, pretty quick there wasn't a whole lot of data on this particular hard drive here and once that's finished uh, the program's just gonna go through and uh, restart again and here we have uh, two hard drives here that are exactly the same now what do you do basically uh, there's a couple of options here one in my particular situation I'm going to unplug my failing hard drive take it out of the computer reboot the computer and um, uh, uh, that's pretty much it it'll boot up on its own right it'll boot up on its own and it'll be ready to go because it's the only hard drive in there the other complicated way is if I were to keep that old hard drive in there for whatever reason uh, you could do that at home um, I'd have to go into the BIOS here and I've restarted my computer and I'm hitting delete on the keyboard to try to go into the BIOS here I have to specify uh, the computer the BIOS to boot my new hard drive right because both of them are plugged in there and when it starts up it's gonna want to boot your old hard drive right and we don't want that so uh, for the purpose of demonstration let's go into let's see here hard disk boot priority and right now here is the very first one is my old hard drive and uh, it's designated by the ST3500 I kind of know it's my old one because the new one here I know for a fact that it's a Western Digital Drive and the the designation is the WDC and WD500 that's a 500 gig hard drive Western Digital so I gotta move this up right so I press the plus key and uh, it's now the first hard drive to try to boot and then what I can do is exit and then exit again save and exit setup and now it's going to boot my uh, new hard drive on there and my old hard drive what am I gonna do with that well I'll probably either just hold on to it um, and you know just in case uh, the new hard drive doesn't work out for some reason or uh, you know you get blue screens or stuff like that um, that shouldn't really happen but um, just in case I'll, I'll keep it around for as long as I can and uh, so before I leave though I kinda wanna ask answer some questions that I got from my previous video and like I said in my previous video I did things like create an image uh, and also um, back up uh, the entire hard drive so that if something were to happen you can put in a disk and you boot up the disk and you copy and clone uh, from an external or something that you saved up and uh, throw it onto your hard drive again and back everything up more detailed it's a longer video I did a lot of talking in that video so um, if you wanna check that out a link to that will be in the description and uh, let's see uh, I often get questions about whether or not you can do this with a laptop yes you can uh, you can do this very same thing so for example if you wanted to uh, if you got a new hard drive and uh, or new SSD or whatever um, and you want to replace the hard drive in your laptop you would have to take your new hard drive since you can't plug it into the laptop along with your old hard drive you have to take your new hard drive and get something like an adapter that plugs it and turns it into a USB external hard drive right and then you would do the same process everything that you would that you just saw me do and you would copy it onto your USB external hard drive with your new hard drive in there and uh, you get everything copied over and then you do the swap uh, where you take out your old hard drive put in the new hard drive and that's pretty much it you boot it up and everything should be fine oh and uh, one last thing before I go if let's say for example you're happy with your new hard drive here and the clone was successful and you got your old hard drive what do you do with it to wipe it all out well I have another video where I use a program called disk part 
definitely check that video out so that you could wipe out your old hard drive. Um, if you have sensitive data on your old hard drive that you don't want anybody to get access to, uh, there's a program called Dan's Boot Nuke that will wipe out your old hard drive by making multiple passes on it. And then there's another program called uh, Eraser. Uh, that's a Windows based program uh, that you can install on your operating system and you can choose your old hard drive and you can uh, erase it properly so that the data on there um, can't be retrieved or anything like that even after formatting it. Uh, so definitely check those videos out. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.